We are two days into the West Virginia legislative session and tax cuts are on the agenda once again. Yeah, and Governor Jim Justice announced his proposals in last night's State of the State address. News Channel 3's Curtis Johnson went to the Capitol today to get lawmakers' reaction. One year ago, state lawmakers passed West Virginia's first income tax cut since 1987. Wednesday night, Governor Jim Justice celebrating that move with talk of more tax cuts. I'm proposing the total elimination of Social Security tax on all on all. I'm proposing a child and dependent care tax credit to where folks that are struggling with daycare can at least write them off your, your taxes against your revenue. We need this and we need this very badly and we need it right now. Top administration officials explaining the proposal Thursday to lawmakers. The first group to benefit retirees and those receiving Social Security. If passed, the proposal would eliminate income tax on Social Security benefits. That move celebrated by House Majority Leader Eric Householder. With prescription drug calls, food calls, fuel calls, I mean heating oil, all these calls, are, it's hard when you're on a fixed budget as a senior. The second group to benefit, families who care for children and other dependents. The proposal, a tax credit to help offset child care cost. Very few details released. The administration saying it would resemble the federal child care tax credit and help working moms and dads get the child care they need. Senate Minority Leader Mike Wolfel already offering a similar idea for those earning less than $65,000. Now it's time for us to help the people that work, that want to work, but are deterred from working. Child care can be as expensive as college tuition. Combined, the administration estimates those cuts will cost about $40 million. Faced with the state still adjusting to last year's tax cut and the governor proposing millions in new spending, Senate Finance Chair Eric Tarr stressed caution Thursday. I don't think you're seeing a resounding no, but we are, we are um, seeing a caution sign at the curve ahead with it. Aren't they things voters want? I'm sure that voters are absolutely going to chase them for if you're, if you're the one getting that tax cut. Um, if it takes away everybody else's tax cut for having done that or restores a tax in order to be able to do it, I think you're going to find some voters that don't like it. The governor also proposing expansion of the state's homestead exemption tax credit, which would help senior citizens stay in their home and pay their real estate taxes. The 60-day regular session continues through March 9th.